That's on two legs at a time. Chum, you want to go write him up? Yep. I'll meet you over here. I'll meet you over there. Go over here and do some paperwork. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to Film Trendings. In today's video, we're going to be looking at things you didn't know about Chum Lee. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Number 10. The Name Derivative Chum Lee's real name is Austin Lee Russell. And surprisingly, he wasn't the one who came up with his name. There is a shady story behind this cute name. Kids in school used to call him Chum Lee after the plump walrus and Tennessee tuxedo and his tails, wanting to body shame him. Over the years, the name stuck and now even he refers himself as Chum Lee. Number 9. School Stories Chum Lee wasn't the academic star type at all. He often paid other students to do his homework and assignments. It wouldn't be surprising to hear that Chum Lee doesn't have a high school diploma because he dropped out of high school. He worked part-time at the Golden Silver Pawn Shop until 21 when he was fully employed. Number 8. His Father's Demise Two weeks before the first episode of Pawn Stars ever aired, Chum Lee went through immense pain of losing his father. His father, who had been battling pancreatic cancer, eventually died in 2009. This impacted Chum Lee's life quite significantly, as he vowed to eat healthily and stay fit. Number 7. Arrests and Court Trials The Pawn Stars goofball is quite notorious outside the business. In March 2016, one of the employees at the shop accused Chum Lee of sexual harassment, but the charges were dropped due to insufficient evidence. Later, in the aftermath of the police raid, Chum Lee was arrested for the possession of illegal substances and 11 firearms. Chum Lee then pleaded guilty and was on probation for 12 months. Number 6. Crime TV Fanatic Did you know that Chum Lee has a knack for crime thriller shows? That's right, fan favorite Chum Lee was a huge fan of Breaking Bad, Sons of Anarchy, and Boardwalk Empire. According to Rick, he made sure never to miss an episode of his favorite shows. Number 5. DJing at Night This may come as a surprise, but Chum Lee is a trained DJ. He attended a DJ school and wishes to pursue music alongside his pawn shop career. He has even done some major gigs in the nightlife of Vegas. He also wishes to be a talent scout for Las Vegas artists. But the dream doesn't end there. He once said he wants to DJ at the Las Vegas Hakkasan Club. He loves mixing hip-hop, old school, and top 40. Number 4. Clumsy Hands I guess we can all agree that when it comes to clumsiness, Chum Lee has the biggest share in the shop. Before the show even started, Chum Lee broke a very rare base by leaning it against a shelf and walking away. He quickly hid the broken pieces in a box, but when the owner came back for it, Chum Lee panicked. But that wasn't even the worst part, because it ended up costing the pawn shop a total of $20,000. Corey said this was the dumbest thing Chum Lee had ever done. Number 3. Fake Death News In 2013, an article surfaced on the internet stating that the fan-favorite Golden Silver Pawn Shop star Chum Lee had died. The website said that he died from an overdose. The news spread like wildfire everywhere and some other websites came up with other rumors regarding the cause of death, such as a heart attack. They even had fake reactions from Rick Harrison. Although the rumors were dismissed, Chum Lee still had to deal with the aftermath of the whole drama. Number 2. He has tied the knot. That's right, Chum Lee has found the one. After dating his longtime girlfriend Tanya, Chum Lee proposed. They dined at Andiamo Italian Steakhouse in downtown Las Vegas, where Chum Lee got down on one knee and Tanya said yes. They were celebrating his weight loss journey milestone along with Tanya's family. The couple is now on their way to getting married soon. Number 1. Weight Struggles you must have seen how much Chum Lee has changed over the years, especially his weight. The star shared his struggle with how it was hard to lose weight, but he kept going, vowed to eat healthily, and went to the gym every day. He dropped an impressive 75 pounds. He looked quite happy with his achievement. 
even with all the ups and downs, Chum Lee seems to be settled now with his improving health and a loving partner. The pawn star along with his best friend Corey and the Harrisons continue to work at the pawn shop. We are hoping to see him in the next season. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, it's never too late to do so. Hit that thumbs up, people. We'll see you soon in another video. So until then, take care and goodbye.